Hey, today I'm talking about these Thursday Boot Company hand-sewn loafers. I've had these for a year, and as you can probably tell, I wore them pretty hard through last spring, summer, and fall. And it's still cold here, but the sun is shining, so I'm really excited to get these back in rotation again, even if it means with socks, which my wife really hates and is totally against, but uh, I still love doing the socks and boat shoes thing. So I'm going to do that until it warms up. These are Thursday's take on a classic boat shoe, and I think they really na nailed it. They're a hybrid of sorts, uh, and, and I'm sure when you looked at these, you had the same reaction as I did, that they're not really a loafer, um, but they did take some design elements, mainly the outsole from a loafer that you wouldn't typically see on a boat shoe. Um, you know, the leather outsole with that heel, the, the built block heel with the leather lifts and the rubber top lift you would typically see that on a loafer or a, a shoe or a dress shoe and then combine that with the design elements from the classic boat shoe upper and i think it's just a perfect combination it's a great balance especially for me because no matter how many times i've tried the loafer has always felt a little too dressy for me i think when i see it on other people i always think it looks great even with some raw denim and some loafers i always love that look uh, but whenever I've tried it, I've just never felt really natural in it. And a boat shoe just doesn't offer the support that I need. Uh, whenever I wear a, a boat shoe with that classic boat shoe outsole or the rubber sole, I always have really sore arches partway through the day and I just need more support. And so this design here has got all the elements that I need. It's a nice casual slip-on shoe but it still offers the support that I need to be able to wear them comfortably all day. So when it comes to the leather outsole, it is super nice. It's got a lot of comfort to it. It's not gonna offer a lot of traction, but it does improve with wear as that leather outsole gets scuffed up. And uh, this is really a, a fair weather shoe. So, you know, in dry, temperatures out on concrete surfaces sidewalks that sort of thing it shouldn't be an issue and as mentioned it is going to get better uh, as you scuff up that leather outsole and uh, you'll get a little bit more grip as you wear them apologies for the pictures of the gross old outsole but uh, i really wanted to see how these held up before posting a video and i think also just knowing how the leather and components of the shoe are going to age is also important if you're looking at purchasing these items. There's also a leather midsole, which is gonna provide even more support. Uh, and there's a nice comfortable pour on footbed. In boots, I prefer a full leather insole, but for some reason, I'm really loving the pour on in this application. Maybe it's because it's lightweight and it's flexible and in a boat shoe, those are some characteristics that are favorable. Um, I don't know, but it, the pour on footbed is really working for me here. This pair is the model in the hickory leather. It's a nice mid-brown tone uh, and the leather feels great. It's soft enough to be comfortable without socks. And because it's a full grain leather, it's also really hardy and durable. So this is something you can just put on for you know any, any application and it's gonna be uh, nice and hard wearing. The leather laces are also holding up well. I do have them tied loose, so I never tie and untie them, um, which would probably wear them down a lot quicker if I were untying them and tying them back up a lot. In terms of price, these are set at 145 bucks, uh, and I think that's a great price. I feel really comfortable saying these are much better than any Sperry's I've had, uh, so costing a little bit more makes sense to me. And the outsole, that nice leather outsole and the leather midsole, that alone to me would be worth the extra cost, but that's not even accounting for that nice full grain leather upper. They're super comfortable. I can wear them all day without getting sore arches. In terms of fit, they fit wider than a captain or a president is going to, but I don't think that will change how you size. For me, I'm a size nine US Brannock. I wear a size nine in pretty much all the Thursday boots that I have at this point, and I wear a size nine in these. So my sizing across has stayed pretty true, but I do have a wider foot uh, and that's why I find the true to size works best for me in Thursday boots. Um, but lengthwise, these boat shoes are, feel very similar. 
And I think that extra width just helps if you're for a shoe that's meant to slip on and off easily. So that is the Thursday hand sewn loafer. If I've missed anything or you have any questions, let me know and I'll do my best to answer. I've already worn the heck out of these things and I plan to put them through the ringer again this summer. So uh, I'll do another update and see how they're looking next year. All right, thanks for watching.